If you own stocks, you know that everything housing related has been obliterated here because higher mortgage rates are bad for business and home prices are rolling over across the country. But what if some of these stocks are less levered to new building than people believe? Look at Trex, T-R-E-X, as the world's largest maker of wood alternative decking and railing products. I have them at my house. Basically, they make composites that look a lot like wood yet require far less maintenance. Because it's housing related, this stock has gone from $90 in September to $58, bucks, and that's after catching a nice bounce today. Here's the thing, though. Trex is a disruptor in this industry. The value proposition here is that their products are superior alternatives to wood, and there are a lot of wooden fences and decks that could potentially be replaced. While Trex's latest quarter came in a tad light, the company still generated 19% sales growth, 47% earnings growth. Those are incredible numbers, as long as you believe they're sustainable. So can the company keep this up or will it be dragged down by the home builders? Let's check in with Jim Klein, the president and CEO of Trex Company. Get a better read on how his company's doing where it's Mr. Klein, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you. How Thank you been? You, Thank you. Hi. How you been? Have a seat. Okay, Thank so here's the deal. Um, we know that housing has gotten weak in this country. Uh, and yet, at the same time, we are saying that you are a disruptor, as you heard, and that really you aren't as levered to housing starts as you are to repair and remodel. Well, that's exactly right. We're a 95% repair and remodeling play. Only about 5% is new construction. So if that's the case, then even though I know that you had uh, some inventory changes in September and October, uh, reduction in distributor demand related to rebalancing of the inventory, I imagine that things have snapped back terrifically since you, since you reported. Yeah, this is a time of year when uh, normal deck building starts to slow down a little bit. So right. it's a normal seasonal slowdown. And we start our early buy where we start to stock in the distributors and dealers beginning in December. Now, uh, one of the things I really liked about the, your deck is that you say the sun never sets on a Trex deck. You're not just a U.S. housing play. That, that's correct. Uh, we're in about 46 countries around the world, heavily levered into uh, Europe and Australia. Now, you also have other uses. We tend to think of you as just really but market leader in stadium railing, uh, uh, Bank of California Stadium, Los Angeles Football Club, Little Caesars Arena. Uh, these, this could be a great business that people aren't thinking about when they're only thinking about decking. Absolutely right. We do about 90% of the major stadiums and arenas in North America. 90%? 90%. I don't think people know that that well. I think they're just thinking that, uh, that we go to Home Depot and we get tracks. And that's not just your only distribution. Uh, that's correct. Uh, we're sold in over 6,700 outlets around the world, professional lumber yards, uh, as well as Home Depot and Lowe's, who are very good customers. Why should I use tracks other than beautiful, fantastic wood that my parents and grandparents used? Uh, best perform performing product. And we've just introduced two new products that are focused on wood converting wood, pressure-treated wood, to wood alternative. I don't understand. Walk me through that. I don't understand. So we've got two new products. One that's priced at $1.75. Pressure-treated comes in at about $0.80 cents to $1.10. Okay. So it's a great alternative to convert those people from pressure-treated to using Trex. Okay, uh, talk about what the raw cost is, because I know oils come down a great deal. Natural gas started rolling over. Any impact? Uh, virtually no impact on Trex okay. because Trex is manufactured from 95% recycled material. Plastic bags, for example, stretch wrap to stabilize pallets, those types of things are the poly that we use. So we're recycling poly. We aren't using virgin polyethylene. All right, so how does it work? Do you go to uh, distribution places? I, look, there's a lot of millennials who are watching the show, and I'm sure they immediately perked up when you said that because they're worried about landfills and they're worried about waste. How do you get the raw product? Uh, we actually go to a variety of uh, distribution locations. For example, a Walmart would be a distribution location we'd target. Grocery store chains, uh, we would target. Uh, distributors of any type, uh, Boeing, for example, a lot of their, their parts come in plastic. Okay. So we get that plastic from them, recycle it, put it into a deck board. Now, I know you said that seasonally, you know, obviously, it when construction slows down. But a lot of people worried about the decline uh, of the consumer when it, re when it related to housing because of higher interest rates. How do you feel about higher interest rates? Do you think the Fed has done, that, it, or does it need to keep doing, because maybe you are, uh, hope to find more workers if they slow the economy? Well, number, number one, I, I don't think that the Fed is going to continue to reduce uh, or increase the uh, interest rates. I just, I just don't believe they're going to. I think they're seeing the impact of what they've done thus far. I think we'll probably get a rate increase uh, right. uh, momentarily, but I think they're gonna slow that increase. From our standpoint, it really doesn't affect us that much. Okay. 
we're, we're basically a consumer product, so consumer confidence is the primary driver for our business. Okay, last question. There are a series of other companies that have come into this business. I know one of the fellow who left 3M to work on one, and we know that there's uh, uh, someone that's just been acquired. How about the competition? What market share do you have in this kind of, uh, of material? Well, based on reports from our top two competitors, they're growing about mid-single digit. This year, Trex will grow at about 12 to 13 percent. We've been doing that consistently over the past four or five years. So the trajectory and market share is expanding quite significantly. We're, we're approaching 50 percent market share on the wood alternative. That's not what we're focused on. We're focused on wood. Wood, all the composite manufacturers, only represent about 17 percent of the market. 83% is what we're going after. Well, I think you, you got your eye on the prize. Okay, that, that's Jim Klein's president and CEO of Trex, a very interesting stock for those of you who own homes or don't, but are thinking about buying one, because I gotta tell you, I use this stuff, saving me a lot of money. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah, Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.